one of the things that I thought was like fascinating within the series is just like how lived in these characters feel, especially considering it's it's a limited series. We're only mm. getting eight episodes, and yet even at, with that pilot, you're like, oh yeah, like I know exactly sort of where this is going, who these people are. And some of that is probably casting and the, and you know being comfortable with with each other. But like mm-hmm. in particular, Noah Ricketts who plays Frankie, yes, and your Marcus. I mean, the chemistry is unreal. <laughs> and were you like on day one, like, oh, thank God, because we have to really be in it right away, you know, to with, get it across over only eight episodes. Yeah, I mean, there's no time, and then eight episodes, but also you have like you know Marcus and Frankie get like you know a third of the time everything else gets because yeah. there's so much story for all the other characters. But one of the most beautiful things about working with Noah Ricketts is that we have worked together before uh, because we were both in Frozen on Broadway together. And so we've already have a friendship and a rapport that um, is healthy and uh, and safe and trusting. And so even from our chemistry read when we were uh, auditioning, there was a sense of Oh, we're in this to play. We're in this to uh, to reveal um, a kind of relationship that no one's ever seen on television before. And I can look into your eyes and I can see love inside of that at any moment. And I feel so safe. It made doing sex scenes so easy. I mean, I mean, there was even one scenario where our int- intimacy coordinator was not feeling well and she had to leave. And me and Noah were like, we got this. <laughs> if there's one thing we got. You're like, wow. is, is, all bets are off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why the intimacy like, coordinator? Luckily, we didn't. We we stuck to the choreography that we were given, but Good. we felt Professional. But yeah, you, we kept it clean. <laughs> um, but we were comfortable with each other, and I think when you're doing this kind of work that feels almost bigger than just a television series, it feels like you're actually like creating a, a change in the world. Uh, um, you need that kind of respect and love with your with your castmates. I am really hoping. I don't know if it, I don't know if it'll happen, but and it's it's um, you know it wouldn't be based on the book, but I would I would kill for a Marcus mm. spinoff. Well, that if would be spinoff very is the right word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you know there is so much more of Marcus that I was interested in. Yeah. Like there's this whole era between episode uh, six and the upcoming one that we jump another 10 years, right? And I'm like, what happened in those 10 years? Like what what did what did Marcus do? Um, how did he go around the country now that, that, that um, civil rights is now uh, actively in practice and in law? How is he finding his identity yet again um, to blackness and queerness inside of that? I would watch, you know, eight hours of that easily. 